The universe is a huge structure consisting of an infinite number of all kinds of diverse objects. They lie so far apart in the endless expanses of space that even light is lost in their depths. Light traveling from the sun takes more than four years to reach our nearest star. As for overcoming intergalactic distances, it takes millions of years. When you realize that all this vast distance is just a tiny molecule on the scale of the macrocosm, it cannot but amaze. So let's find out what is the actual size of the universe. You are on the Space Stop channel, and in this video, we will find out what is beyond the universe. Before starting the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, because every video is a huge job. I wish you a pleasant viewing. The solar system is the first in outer space. It is just one of countless planetary systems scattered throughout our galaxy. As we know, it consists of a single star at the main sequence stage and eight planets with their satellites. In addition, our system contains more than a million small celestial bodies, such as asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. The most distant planet in the solar system, at least as far as we know, is Neptune. Its radius is about 30 astronomical units, which is equivalent to about four light hours. Surprisingly, only a tiny part of the solar system is covered by the orbit of Neptune. The most distant object of the system discovered to date is the so-called Far Farut meteorite, located at a distance of 132 astronomical units, or 18 light hours from the Sun. However, even this object is barely discernible against the dark background of the incomprehensible cosmos. But even this space object is not at all close to the hypothetic Oort cloud. According to some estimates, the outer boundaries of the Oort cloud extend at least 60,000 astronomical units, which is about one light year. These limits are predetermined by the gravitational influence of the Sun, and what lies beyond them is interstellar space. Moving further away, we will notice more than 50 different stars within a radius of 20 light years from the Sun. These stars are really diverse, from dim and cold brown dwarfs to bright and well-known objects such as Sirius, Procyon, and Altair. Some of them have their own planetary systems with objects potentially capable of feeding and supporting life. For example, the object known as Gliese 832c, which is located 16 light years from the Sun, resembles our Earth more than any other planet known to us. The average temperature on the surface of an exoplanet reaches minus 20 degrees Celsius, and the body of the planet takes only 36 Earth days to complete a complete revolution around its parent star. By astronomical standards, the distance between us and Gliese is 832 degrees Celsius, which is relatively small. However, a space probe departing from our system at a speed of about 17 kilometers per second would take as much as 300,000 years to reach the vicinity of an exoplanet. With our current level of technological progress, it is impossible to design an interstellar spacecraft capable of making such a long journey. The solar system, together with neighboring stars, is part of the Orion arm. The latter, in turn, is part of the Milky Way galaxy. According to today's estimates, it contains about 400 billion stars, and potentially more than a trillion exoplanets of all kinds can be found there. The main diameter of the Milky Way is about 100,000 light years, despite the fact that the thickness of the main disk is about a thousand light years. There is a clearly defined bulge in the center of the galaxy. The thickness of this bulge is approximately 3,000 light years. The Milky Way is part of the so-called local group. This is an extensive structure, including more than 50 galaxies, concentrated in a region of space with a diameter of about 10 million light years. The Andromeda Galaxy, the Triangular Galaxy, and the Milky Way are the largest of them. Some preliminary calculations show that the total mass of the cluster can reach as much as 3 trillion solar masses, with most of them falling on our galaxy and Andromeda. Since the distance from Earth to Andromeda is about 2.5 million light years, it is considered our closest galaxy. 
not counting smaller or dwarf ones. Moving on to the next order, we note that the local group of galaxies is part of the giant Virgo supercluster, consisting of more than 30,000 galaxies. The supercluster is located in a region of space with a diameter of about 150 million light years. Its total mass reaches a quadrillion solar masses, or, in other words, about a thousand galaxies like the Milky Way. The supercluster is rather flattened, and more than half of all the objects it consists of look like a flat sheet about 10 million light years thick. It just seems like something huge, but by cosmic standards, these are trifles. If we magnify the image even more, we will have a chance to see a giant super cluster of galaxies about 520 million light years in size. Called Laniakea, it includes several super clusters of galaxies. The total mass of this formation is approximately 100 quadrillion solar masses. The Great Attractor is located about 250 million light years from our planet and is the gravitational center for all objects located close by astronomical standards. It cannot be observed from Earth because the plane of the Milky Way prevents this. That is why the nature of the Great Attractor remains an unsolved mystery even today. Laniakea is part of the large-scale structure of the universe, a complex system of galactic threads, walls, and voids. Some of these objects are really incredibly huge. For example, the Great Wall of Hercules extends for about a staggering 10 billion light years. Since its discovery, this wall has been considered the most gigantic component of the large-scale structure of the universe. Apparently, it should be home to millions of galaxies, and the number of stars it contains is probably impossible to count. The very existence of such a structure is a mystery to science, because, according to the currently accepted theory of the evolution of the universe, such giant clusters simply should not form. But, by the way, this wall, so huge that the human brain cannot fully estimate its size, is still only a tiny part of the observable universe. According to modern cosmological concepts, space in the universe is constantly expanding, and the rate of expansion depends on the distance between objects. The further the observed object is from the observer, the faster the distance between them increases. The speed at which they are mutually moving away is not limited by the speed of light, because cosmic matter is really expanding, which means that at a certain moment the two objects will be mutually unobservable. Observation of the relic radiation shows that the region of the observable universe is a sphere with a diameter of about 93 billion light years. According to the theory of relativity, we can only see those objects that are inside this sphere and interact with them. This conditional spherical region in space is called metagalaxy, and it can be either the entire universe or again a tiny part of it. As far as we know, Hypothetically, there may well be some unknown structures beyond the observed boundaries of space. Such objects are called extrametagalactic objects. Unfortunately, today they cannot be studied by scientific methods. However, based on the data we have, some astronomical bodies at the edge of the visible universe do not seem to be moving as we might expect. Such abnormal movements may indicate the presence of some massive structures beyond the boundaries of the metagalaxy. Their attraction permeates the space around and also affects the surrounding objects. There are many hypotheses about the structure of the universe beyond the metagalaxy, but most of them are rather metaphysical in nature. For example, some people believe that time and space, as we more or less know them, do not exist outside the universe. The physical laws to which we are accustomed are also inapplicable here, and the concepts of matter, material or energy are practically meaningless. This hypothesis is complemented by the following idea. Metagalaxy is only part of an even more complex and large-scale cosmic superstructure, the composition and size of which are too incredible for us to imagine. It is quite possible that this structure may be located in a multi-dimensional space or based on physical principles that we have no idea about. 
This makes Meta Galaxy just a minor addition or partial reflection of this mind-boggling structure of the cosmos. Some theorists admit the existence of other worlds beyond the observable universe. In these worlds, completely different constants, such as the speed of light or the charge of an electron, are completely different. This hypothesis is largely confirmed by the idea of a multiverse, which schematically looks like foam with many bubbles separated from each other, however, by thin walls, but these walls are impenetrable. This makes each universe a separate space with its own physical laws, and, as far as we know, these laws may be completely different from those to which we are accustomed. The most radical hypotheses go so far as to deny any objective reality in our world at all. According to them, the universe is just a simulation, similar to virtual reality in computers, but at an incredibly advanced level. As a rule, such ideas imply that somewhere outside of the reality we are familiar with, there are some super beings or super civilizations whose level of development is infinitely higher than ours and the goals and possibilities are mysterious and incomprehensible. However, it goes without saying that it is hardly possible to either confirm or refute these hypotheses. Of course, the distances in space are beyond our imagination and even frightening. They seem endless from the point of view of any modern person. What we know for sure is that the universe is expanding, and if this process continues, there will come a moment when space objects will disappear one by one beyond the event horizon. First the galaxies, and then the stars, and the world will plunge into eternal darkness. But by that time there won't be anyone around to witness it. 